Hey bodies, welcome back to Time Division. This is a game I brought to you a year ago. That was the prototype. It's now been out of the Essen Fair. Check out my Essen playlist, my Spiel playlist. A two-player game. This is from Heidelberg, currently at Castle Con. I can make it this year. I chose to be, in this case, I was quadruple booked. This is an unboxing teaser trailer preview video. Again, it's the full version of the game. Again, a two-player only game. It's a dueling game, it takes 20 to 60 minutes to play. A game played over three eras. So this game, I have met the designer at Castle Con. I've also met him again at in Essen. Alexander Schreiber is that designer. And yes, we're playing in ancient Egypt. We're playing in, I think it's the Dark Ages yet, yeah, and we're also playing in the 1980s. So in ancient Egypt, it's a time of order and belief is what it's known as. In those Dark Ages, it's hard choices and death. And the economy is key in the 80s. So like I said, this is going to go on my two-player playlist, the Amass Games playlist. The How to Set Up Play and Review playlist. Check out that as well, of course, the other video. This can also go on my sleeving playlist, of course. See, um, obviously, which kind of sleeves are best. or various ones I can show you. Also, check out the comments of best in YouTube. Of course, this is available elsewhere. This does get shared, but please, do, of course, share as well. Like, share, and subscribe. So here is our board, very snazzy-looking board here. Uh, we've got other things going on here, things need to be punching out. So these are kind of like little deck box areas that they're going to play with. Again, the prototype did not show that one. And also via the description on YouTube, make sure you check out for Arata competitions. Support the channel via Patreon. Over on Instagram, over 3,500 posts at time of recording. Also head through to TikTok, X, Threads, etc. The podcast. And oof, there's various other things to bring you to. So that can go away as well. Again, we've got a little deck boxes here. So what we're going to do is play a card, either facing us or can face our opponent. When you do play a card out as well, what you will be doing is deciding whether or not you want to, if you have the highest value, choose to take the points, or you can take the bottom ability and they get the points. So you have like a two go out here, the opponent flips over this, then you have a higher value. Again, are you scoring it or using the ability? This is a very icon heavy game. It's something whereby you need to get used to playing this game. Everything is written on the back here. So again, this is made for a large uh, market in terms of having the iconography in a book and therefore printing cards which are universal in terms of language independency. And then the rulebook, of course, which isn't because, of course, everyone's going to have their language, their own, the rulebook in their own language. But of course, the cards they chose to sort of save that money and say, look, here's a lower price point. You must look it up. So the more you play it, again, with any game with icons, you'll pick it up, learn it, and then, of course, you get familiar with it. And this is a game where it is best over three rounds just to get used to it. I'm going to finish figuring out how this all goes together in a separate um, pause after this. But I have a little kind of reference sheet as well, which, again, I don't recall seeing before. And again, here's that rulebook too. So also check out my other videos on the channel by Huddlebear, such as Spicy, which I highly recommend. And there's various other things out there too. There might even be a Castle Con uh, playlist as well. If there isn't, I'll maybe try and do one in the future. Thanks very much for watching. Again, I'll be bringing you another video once again for Time Division. As you can see, it's a card game and you can play it both ways. Very snazzy artwork. Thanks very much for watching. But for now, back to the table.